Yeah, yes, we think we have. But it, nothing's happened in the year that we didn't anticipate and, and plan for. There was some extraordinary kind of one-off impacts that happened in the uh, in the first half. We, um, we have a lot of really positive things going into our second half. Um, a lot of new store expansions here in the UK and just about every major city in the UK. We had disruption in Q2 that actually is going to be beneficial as we begin to the second half year, big openings in the in the US, uh, big Rolex be taking Orlando. So we have a, we have a lot of good things going into the second half year. I'll take it into account when we uh, looked at our guidance again that we were confident enough to um, uh, to confirm. Uh, we've also planned and presented our long range plan to the the market, and the market response to that has been has been very good. A great deal of interest in our plan. Uh, and our plan is that we're going to double our business over the over the next five years, which again we we, uh, we feel confident about. Brian, interesting that you could have picked any region in the world to talk about um, with me, and you mentioned the US as well. Um, a lot of our uh, CEOs who come through also talking about the US as well. Is that the key region then? And I know you mentioned Orlando, but there are other parts of the world that, whether it be Asia, whether it be the Middle East, where we've historically would have expected the greater demand to come through. Well, of course, we're not in Asia. Uh, I think a real strength of our business is it's uh, is UK and US. Uh, the US is almost half of our business now. We've only been there five years, uh, and we're now, you know, getting towards eight hundred million with a with a billion dollars in the in, in sight of a, of sales. Um, our business there is doing great. We are very well geographically positioned in the US. Uh, our biggest business is in Florida. And uh, Florida is booming. Um, we're in Vegas, and Vegas is uh, is doing great. And we have a great presence in the Northeast and New York. And New York has had a great comeback as well. And overall, the U.S. economy, I think, I, mean, I don't think, I, mean, I, I know it clearly is more resilient. The uh, consumer uh, confidence in the U.S. is uh, is much better. Uh, and then we are outperforming the market in the U.S. So the U.S. within the next uh, whatever 12, 18 months, the U.S. will be our biggest market and offers huge potential. It's uh, an underdeveloped market, uh, and clearly our, our model has um, has been applied and accepted very well by the, by the US client. Yeah, I should have been more specific. I was talking about the, the, perhaps the, the customer growth from tourists from the Middle East, Russia, uh, Asia as well, historically. But you're looking, I guess with somewhere like Orlando, this is less about the tourists um, and more about the domestic buyer. I mean, it's American tourism, uh, uh, and we, again, benefit from a lot of American tourism or North American tourism coming into Florida, going into Vegas, uh, and even coming into New York. But we, we never have had much of a, an international tourist business in the, in the U.S. We historically have had a, a good tourist business here in the U.K., but, of course, with the uh, disappearance of uh, that free shopping that happened with Brexit, the, the tourist business is... Uh, um, is very, very modest uh, and uh, not really relevant. And we completely offset that loss of business with uh, domestic clients in the UK. We are 95% domestic in our business. Um, and if tourism does come back at some point, it would be, which we're not anticipating, it would uh, clearly be an upside. Uh, something